If you are planning to use Scilab or EngraveLab on a new computer, you will need to transfer all the fonts that you have in your old computer to the new one. There are two groups of fonts, Windows and non-Windows fonts. Here is the process to copy Windows fonts. Click on the Start button, click on File Explorer, click on this PC, double-click the local disk C, double-click the Windows folder, and double-click the Fonts folder. Here are all the Windows fonts that you have on your system. Click on Organize, click on Select All, then right-click and select Copy to copy all the fonts. Now you can insert a USB flash drive where to paste all the copied fonts. Here it is my F drive. I will create a new folder and I will call it Windows Fonts. And here I will right click and paste all my fonts. Now it is copying all the fonts that I have from my Windows Fonts folder into the flash drive. If you already have Scilab 10 or EngraveLab 10 on the old computer, all your non-Windows fonts are stored in a specific location. To find them, click on the Start button and go to File Explorer. At the top box, you can just enter the percentage sign, program data, non space, and percentage sign. Click Enter and you will find a Catlin folder. Open it and there is a Fonts folder there with all the fonts that you have in your Scilab 10 or EngraveLab 10. Just click on Select All, right-click it, and Copy. Then go to your PC, go to the flash drive, F in my case. I will create a new folder here called Non-Windows Fonts. I open it by double clicking, then right click and paste all the copied fonts. If you do not have Scilab 10 or EngraveLab 10 in your old computer, your fonts might be stored in a different place. In my case, I have the fonts stored in the C Catlink Scilab folder under fonts. You double click and here I have all the fonts. I just select all of them and copy. Then I will paste them on my USB flash drive under known Windows fonts. Now we are on the new computer and this is the process to install Windows fonts. The first thing is to insert the USB flash drive. In my case, when I connect it, a folder comes up with the contents of the USB flash drive. In here, I see the two folders. I double click the Windows Fonts folder and I need to select all the fonts. So click on Select All or Control A. Then right click and click on Install for all users so any user on this computer can use them. If it founds a phone that is already installed, it will come up with this message. Just put a check mark and click on No to replace it. This will install all the Windows phones into my Windows computer. If Scilab was not yet installed, then you can go ahead and install it now. Scilab will find all the Windows phones and all the phones of the flash drive if you point to it at the end of the install. But if your Scilab or EngraveLab 10 was already installed, then you will need to open Scilab, click on File, Install, Fonts. Put a check mark on all the font formats you will need. Click on the Browse button and point to the USB flash drive folder where all the non-Windows fonts were copied. Click on Search Now, and then click on Install All. Scilab will install all the fonts and copy them into the Programs Data folder. Now, you're ready to use Scilab or EngraveLab 10 
with all the fonts from the old computer already installed in the new computer.